Our verse for today is taken from the prophet Hosea chapter 14 verse 1. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Beloved in Christ, the prophet Hosea lived and prophesied during the reigns of kings Hosea, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah of Judah, and Jeroboam II of Israel. It was a time when the mind of Assyria bore heavily on Israel, the northern kingdom, and Judah, the southern kingdom. While Israel and Syria formed alliance against Assyria, Ahaz, king of Judah, refused to join them. Rather, he submitted to Assyria as a vassal, and therefore he paid tribute to Assyria. But in the year 722 BC, the northern kingdom was eventually conquered and deported by the Assyrians. This was the scenario at the time of the prophet Hosea. During this time, there was a breakdown of morality in the land as it is today. The priests, prophets, failed in their task, while the people, instead of loyalty to the Lord, placed their trust in other gods and in military strength. Our verse begins with an imperative, return. And this shows the urgency of this message. The prophet also invites the people in Hosea 6 verse 1. He says, Come, let us return to the Lord, for he has taught us that he may heal us. Brothers and sisters, this invitation is very relevant to us today. Let us return to the Lord, for we have stumbled because of our iniquities. Two metaphors Hosea used to describe the relationship between God and the people. One, God as husband and the people as unfaithful wife. Two, God as a parent and the people as a rebelling child or children. Where do you locate yourself? Are you an unfaithful bride or a rebellious child? Whatever be your situation, Hosea presents to you a message about God's healing love. I will heal their faithlessness. I will love them freely. Hosea 14 verse 4. God is willing to heal and to love. Ours is to take a bold step to return. The voice of the prophet is calling you today, return to the Lord. It is a call to conversion and repentance. And this is the central message of Lent. Many of us have left where we are expected to be as priests, as religious men and women, as married couples or as singles. Like Israel of old, many of us have become slaves and vassals to Assyria. The prophet is reminding us in Hosea 14 verse 3, Assyria shall not save you. Many people are running to where they should not be. Many are searching for protection and comfort in ungodly alliances to their own detriment. Many have become slaves to wealth, to power, and to pleasure, and others to idolatry and secret courts. These have become their Assyrians. Who is your Assyria? What is your Assyria? Perhaps you have stumbled in your marriage, your relationship, or your Christian life. Take courage and return to God. Allow God to restore your life or your family. Remember, Assyria cannot save you. Only Jesus can save you. Beloved in Christ, come back. Come back to your God. And the psalmist tells us in Psalm 30 verse 5, His anger is for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime. This is the hour. This is the day. Tomorrow may be too late for you. May God bring you back. May his face shine upon you that you may be saved, and may divine restoration be unto you in this season of Lent and always. Amen. Peace be with you.